This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 401, Leading and Enabling, by Ross Enemite of rostraining.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your host and narrator. Happy Monday, welcome back to another week of Optimal Health Daily. I read to you from some of the most popular blogs out there, with permission from the authors, of course. And a big thank you to Daily Burn for their support. Daily Burn is the world's leading provider of on-demand video workout programs that you can do right at home. We talk about body weight exercises here all the time, and Daily Burn is a great way to do that with expert-led workouts of every kind, including cardio, yoga, kickboxing, dance, and more. Visit dailyburn.com slash OHD today to start your free 60-day trial. That's dailyburn.com slash OHD for your free trial. And it's the beginning of a work week. You might need that little bit of inspiration to get you going. So here's an inspirational quote. Dost thou love life? Then do not squander time, for that's the stuff life is made of. Benjamin Franklin. I wonder, did Benjamin Franklin have an American accent or kind of a British one or a mid-Atlantic one? Maybe I should have done a faux British accent. Nah, spare you from that. All right, let's get right to today's post as we optimize your life. Leading and Enabling by Ross Enemite of rostraining.com. In a recent post, I discussed the significance of leading from the front. Children imitate their parents, so it is important that we are positive role models. As I've mentioned before, my children love coming to the gym. They enjoy mimicking what they see. They have become mini gym rats because that is the only life they've ever known. Living an active life has certainly sparked a similar interest in my children. Seeing a positive example is not enough, however. As parents, we must also enable our kids to find activities that they enjoy. Leading from the front is a step in the right direction, but it isn't enough to do what you enjoy while hoping that your children hop on board and follow suit. Kids need the opportunity to enjoy their own activities rather than always copying what we do. Unfortunately, many parents become too busy with their own lives to make time for extracurricular activities for their children. As an active parent in the community, I'm used to seeing the same kids at all of the local events. Meanwhile, there are loads of kids who remain home without the opportunity to participate. Being a parent means sacrificing your time for your children. We're all busy in today's world. A busy lifestyle isn't an excuse. Many of us work long hours. I am well aware of the challenges that parents encounter trying to balance their schedules with those of multiple children. It isn't always easy, and there are many times when it seems like we, the parents, have a million things going on at once. Yet, despite the often clashing and hectic schedules, There's nothing better than watching your child have an opportunity to compete in an event they enjoy. Earlier this week, my son participated in a track and field challenge that has been hosted annually for the last 14 years. He won first place in the 400-meter race. In the two days since, he can't stop talking about it. All he wants to do is race again. Fortunately, it didn't take long to find another event in the area next month. Now my son is asking how to train for the upcoming race. I wouldn't trade that excitement for anything in the world. My kids cannot find these events on their own, however. They don't read the newspaper or browse the web. It's up to the parents to find activities that their children can participate in. My kids have played baseball, soccer, track, gymnastics, and more. I give them the chance to try whatever they like. I'm not pushing them to follow my interest in boxing. I want them to find what they enjoy. Unfortunately, Kids won't know what they enjoy if they aren't given the opportunity to participate. While my children are out playing sports, plenty of others are at home sitting in front of the television. Upon speaking with one of the local race directors, she mentioned how participation has declined steadily over the years. Fewer kids come out to participate in these free community events. She was adamant that more and more kids sit in front of the television rather than playing outside. Research tends to support her observations. One recent study found that children between the ages of eight months and eight years were exposed to an average of 232.2 minutes of background television per day. That's almost four hours a day. Parents need to stop being so lazy. Don't use the television as a distraction to keep your child occupied. Doing so does nothing for their development. Kids need the opportunity to get outside and explore the world. Not every child needs to be an athlete but at least give them the opportunity to participate. Children involved in sports learn valuable lessons about teamwork, competition, discipline, and respect. And the kids also have fun. As a coach in the town, I can say with certainty that most kids enjoy playing sports. 
I always have kids who want to stay after practice. The kids want to be there. More parents need to step up and enable their children to participate. Regularly sitting your child in front of the television so you can do your own thing is pathetic. Your child is your responsibility. Children do not come fully trained and ready for the world. How they develop depends on how you develop them on a daily basis. Children are like sponges. They soak everything up around them. It is our job as parents to make sure they have the opportunity to absorb beneficial activities that they will enjoy and learn from. Leading an active lifestyle is a great way to encourage such a life for your child. Let your kids get out and find what they truly enjoy. Lead from the front while enabling them to pursue their own passions. You just listened to the post titled Leading and Enabling by Ross Enemite of rosstraining.com. A big thank you again to Daily Burn for keeping this show running. Daily Burn is the fitness program you can stick with and get results that last. It's usable anywhere on a connected device. That changes the fitness game for frequent travelers, busy parents, and others who don't have enough time to make it to the gym. Daily Burn has thousands of classes for every level, from complete beginners to trained experts. Workouts take less time than the gym and cost way less than fancy exercise gadgets. In fact, they require little to no equipment. You can get a personalized workout plan with expert-led video workouts of virtually every kind. Plus, they stream a new live workout every day, so you'll never get bored. Try it out. You can get a 60-day free trial. And if you need a little extra motivation, they have an active online community where you can share your fitness journey and connect with Daily Burn trainers and members just like you. So visit dailyburn.com OHD today to start your free 60-day trial. That's dailyburn.com slash OHD. Now I'll admit it, I'm not a parent. Uh, I can't always relate or understand what parents go through. But what I try to do is be a good role model for my niece and nephew, for example. So maybe uncles and aunts can also get involved. Why not grandparents and cousins? Make it a whole family affair. But what I will also say is that a lot of what Ross mentioned in his post can be applied to us. While we're searching for that new exercise or activity that will keep us honest and keep us moving, we can use the same approach. Find something that we actually enjoy. Getting your heart rate up can be fun. So find a movement, find an activity that you enjoy that makes you feel like a kid again. And then a few weeks, months, or years down the line, you're a completely new person, body, mind, and spirit. All right, that'll do it for the Monday episode. I hope you have a great start to your week. I'll be back tomorrow with a post from regular contributor, JC Dean, and where your optimal life awaits.